Cooper, you rolling? Okay. You want me to roll the song again, Ty? Yeah. I think being scared to open yourself up to working in a different way is just the worst thing. No one usually does that style. Collaborating is the best thing there is, and only cool stuff can come. We're in Topanga, California at Harmonizer Studios. A few miles up in the Santa Monica Mountains. I do feel like you can kind of have your own secret little nature spot here, which is kind of the ultimate goal. Oh yes, please, Cooper. Oh, I I have to patch it in. What's the patch? Stereo, like top right corner. Oh, just to the left right of the Furman? Yep. When we started talking about working together years before we actually did. I've known him and played shows with him and heard his records for years. He's just great at what he does and I love him as a person and I just thought we would gel and we do. Did we get it, Cooper? I think there's like an intuitive kind of non-verbal thing that happens there. Mixing this thing yesterday, we were like, I would be saying, oh, we should do this while he was already doing it. I feel like every time we talk, we end up more and more on the same page. Out here at Harmonizer, it's, it's a dialed in energy and we become one. Once we fall into it, we might realize that we both haven't even done what we did as far as instruments or sound wise. Should be a, this should be something. Sounds cool. These Wurlitzers dueling, most everything on this track is doubled. And these Wurlitzers are really helpful in getting it really wide on the first half of the song with these acoustics. Once we start building up the track, ideas start happening more. Oh, let's double that, let's add this, let's do that again, let's pan that over here, let's get more room, you know, all that just kind of starts happening as the track's getting built up and we're getting into the weeds on it all. The original take, or the take that is there, we had to pitch it down a little bit. It sounded too fast a little bit. So we used some movie magic, which is just pitching the tape down. And then the whole thing ended up being slow, which is cool. We both learned over the years that everything should be somewhat a bit of an experiment because if you do the same thing over and over, it's not gonna be as enjoyable and as wide as a variety of sounds and textures. So. Doing the experimental part is kind of just doing it. I'm a big fan of voices. I think they're the most unique instruments and I think they should be the centerpiece of a recording. There's a lot of different things that Cooper brought to the table specifically for Harmonizer. Lots of like electronic stuff, drum programming and modular. I brought some extra tools. We ended up using everything. Existing freely at Harmonize. Cooper's really good at letting me go down the rabbit hole and then being the voice to be like, the vocals are good. You don't need to do them for another two hours. 
I feel like we both have a similar have to figure out the puzzle kind of brain when it comes to making records. Energized by just being here and hearing things back yeah. and the sounds we're getting at your house. And then driving around and jamming the record. Yeah. Nothing better than that. There are things to learn every, every day of this work. I mean, I got questions for him after you guys split. <laughs> <laughs>